Hi, um, I'm Jerry Kelton Come, come from Wichita, Kansas. Um, I'm at Leading Technology Composite right now, trying to confront them about some stuff about my uh my, about my watch and how they tried to murder me and they said it's a time machine saying that okay you don't have your time machine that's how i got covid remember i tested out positive for covid and they went all in to give me covid covid intentionally like i said like when the day when i received my watch they usually have this gathering here very proud they, they, they found so out. Congratulations for the great work that you do. They do like the Christmas drawing and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to be confronting them about it, talking to the. There's our new Mr. supervisor. Right there. Let's That's John. Is this working? That's, uh, that's, that's a hot mic. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt Henry. I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at LTC. Okay. And it's my privilege to talk with you today about a few things. I'm going to talk about some stuff. I want to talk a little bit about okay. the challenges and the experiences you're Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the situation here. It's like they knew exactly what was going on like during the time of my baptism and like i said they sold me out for power and money and tried to kill me you see how like it's trying to boom and they just open up a new building it seems like they were waiting for my death and they went out partying throughout the threw away the condoms and said finally some real faggots you know finally i became god you know no i'm freaking god you know and i'm gonna be confronting the owner and everybody about the uh, attempted murder charges that I'm going to be pinning on uh, this company. <clears throat> uh, w once again, like uh, that guy, uh, the lousy boys, what you may call it, the lousy boys, and their, uh, and that guy Johnny Ratana and that deep Pumbi like guy uh, has something to do with it too, because when I had my music studio, you know, that guy deep Pumbi like with that song, I think it Stack Cash, uh, Be Easy, and Johnny Pleasure or something, you know. <clears throat> and like, uh, he, that guy D. Pumbilai set some kind of bug on my laptop, and I, they, I didn't know about it. It taught me that I ripped that instrumental for them, and that's how they received that song. I'm probably going to be making a second video of this. You know, and and that that girl Kel is uh, that guy Johnny Ratana's uh, cousin, and they were you know they were doing stuff like that to me, and and you know they were trying to figure it out, like what I was talking about. They knew about it the whole time when I said they tried everything. I mean they they tried everything. You know they even went and murdered my mom. You know they they, they got the devil try to get me to sell myself for the devil for some music. <clears throat> so like uh let, let's talk about my five year watch. You know. Like when it was time for me to receive my watch, we didn't have this gathering. Uh, once every year during the holidays, Christmas and Thanksgiving, during the end of the year and they, they give out rewards and like remember that poster with the nurse Ashley? Said um employee of the year. They have all that stuff at one time. It's like it's about like three hours and a half sometimes, I think. But when, like I said, when they actually pulled it on me and all that stuff, you know, they never had this type of gathering. They, they came and gave my watch to the supervisor and said, here you go. You know, and, and that was it, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> and they knew about everything trying to piss me off and like they had everything planned out my death planned out many times put it on me and lost you know and i'm gonna be asking the president of the united states to grant me access on the lie detector test and the the laotian community that was in on the odd deal you know see how this company is booming it's trying to boom, but then they need my death to 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 celebrate and and you know and bring money and people to this uh, uh, to this state. You know they're really desperate.
Wichita is the messed up place to live, man. But like I said, I'm going to be asking the president of the United States for help and grant me that access in that lie detector test. And like I said, that Laotian lady in that white car, why is it social distance? For us, they pulled like more than more than probably dozens of fatalities on me, man. You know? Okay. And so like, again, uh, hats off to you. Thank you for all you did in 2022. Great accomplishments. Yeah. Usually they, they give out the rewards and the 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 incentives and they do raffle yeah. tickets and like Thank they you, give bro. out their watch and all that stuff. Yeah, it's kind of weird, you know, how it doesn't like me. And it went by, and, you know, even my vacation hours got stripped from me, you know, and threw it in my face, you know. Right. So it's not every day on the, on the first day of work you have a party, but we have a, I'd like to introduce but like, West uh, Hill, our new operations manager here at Peak. Yeah, they even stripped and went through my private account and stripped my vacation hours from me. They went back and like murdered my mom and did all that. I, I heard they did my older brother the same way too. You know? LTC leadership team. Your guys' reputation in the community is outstanding. LTC is very highly regarded. Outstanding. How is it outstanding? They, they fucked you over like a motherfucker in this company. You know? And I can prove it. You know? Team. They screw you over and fuck you over in this company. And I can't fucking and I can't it, man. This, is on this company is the dirt bag company. Okay. Yeah. And they can murder your mother and do all that. I'm going to let this record and probably going to make a part two of this video talking about some other stuff. So, uh, yeah. Outside of this company and in our community. Um, I'm Carly Johnson and most of you don't necessarily know who I am, but you definitely know who Debbie Woods is because she helps me endlessly to, uh, Even my five-year watch, they planted some kind of fatality from me and stripped me from my five-year watch, burglarized me out of my home just so they could burglarize me even more. Do my vacation hour down the drain and the money I saved up to go to Korea. You know, right. for real. Right. They talked to that guy, General Pastor Kim Jo Cho, and that guy, Aung San Ho, all the time. You know, they talked to him directly all the time. You know? right. Like I said, they knew all about it. Nobody pulled me to the side. Like I said, like how he paid that police officer at that police department over there on Pawnee and Hillside, Broadway and Hillside. I mean, you know, I saw that that dirtbag ass motherfucker gave her something and they just kept me waiting. Like, you know, I'm just telling you guys, man, that guy ain't God and I can prove it. I know you guys witnessed it firsthand, you know, right? that you guys went all in with that guy and tried to murder me and my mom and, and got away with it and I'm still standing here. You know, you know what I'm talking about? You guys went and tried to murder me, you know, and went, teamed up with that guy and tried to murder me, you know. I would love to see you pass the lie detector test because I'm going to try to ask the President of the United States if I'm going to have to do some stuff, you know, you guys going to hear from me, man. Be incredibly proud of yourselves. Yep. Yeah, for real, so I'm going to be confronting a lot of people, man. Right. We also host a few blood drives. Um, Mike Molina is a great model for this. Yeah, our new supervisor is so named John. Life, I don't know, but he's 74 years old. Are, are you? Are, should you be retired at the age of 74, so, or uh, are you still you eligible to work? But like I said, he he's a new supervisor. Like I said, it's, they're probably after that money. You know, once he gets that money, he's out of here. It's just like like a salary job. It's not, you're not like you're getting paid hourly. You know, it's just another vacation. And then 
once it's done, it came back. You know, it, it, it didn't really lose lose anything. You know, like I said, uh, the world mission inside the Church of God is screwed completely. Jesus Christ ain't God, and I can prove it. I already got uh, criminal charges pinned on all you guys be before you guys. I let you guys know in the afterlife. I already got criminal charges pinned on you guys. You know? I just to let you guys know that the president of the United States too. You know, I have criminal charges pinned on you guys when you guys die and pass on. I'm just letting you guys know that. Man. Information of what LTC as a company, on top of all the things that you and I do out in our little projects, a hundred, over a hundred thousand dollars was donated to all of these programs. You will probably have to be white. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to everyone for all your great ideas, your hard work, your dedication last year. You guys all made a huge, huge difference in our mission. And thank you for helping us fulfill our mission to make a difference in the community. I am serious for a company our size. It yeah, that, I think he's the owner. His name is Todd. And I'm going to be asking the President of the United States to grant me access in the deadline of the tax test. Uh, I truly believe those watch, the Benova watch is like priced at $300. Uh, you know, the killers of the two towers are still out there. You know? and so that's why I'm going to be asking if what it did to me was true and accurate and nothing fake about it. I'm telling you, the killers are still out there. You know, the scoot shooting, one, one and after another scoot shooting. They're out there. That Ben Nova watch, if it's true, and they talk to that guy directly too. But like I said, they stripped it from me, bragged, bragged about it, gave me COVID, and tried to kill me. If you could have turned back time, if you had your time machine, what would you have done? You know. You know, they tried many fatalities on me, and like I said, too slow. You guys are too slow. You know. I already got criminal charges pinning on you guys in the afterlife. You know? right. <laughs> oh yeah, I think they're doing the watch right there. The people, people that reach. Yeah, when I received my watch, I never got nothing like that. They just said, oh, go fucking deal with it. Hurry up and die just like the uh, police officers. Yeah, hurry up and die, you know. Right. Screw you and your fucking feelings. <laughs> hurry up and fucking die, you know. And went off and murdered my mom and trying to get rid of me and my stuff, you know. Right. Screw you and your fucking feelings, your mama too. I I'm fucking God, not you, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, there, there's that cow girl. I'm gonna be confronting her. That's that's that Johnny Rotten uh, uh they like blood cousin or something. And they've been, you know, they've been working with that guy, Anasan Hung, and I can prove it. You know, like I said, it's the Twin Towers, you know. I, I, the, for the people that, their family, you know, the people in like their family, you know, that was in the building. It, you know, it does matter because if this is all true, you know, the, the killers are still out there. You know? America went into war for no reason, you know. And like, like I said, you know, it is a big deal because your your wife, your father, your family, your grandfather was in that building when they came down. You know? And that's why I want the president to grant me access into that lie detector test. You know? That, that's Nurse Ashley right there. Yeah, if you had had a chance to turn back time, but your watch is gone, you know, and stuff, what would you do? You know? And they started, they went all in and trying to kill me. I came to work the next, the, when it was over, and it was all pissed off, I threw it in his face. I'm like, hey, you're too slow. 
You're not invincible. And I've proven that fact many times. You're not invincible. You're too slow, man. You know? Right. And then went and tried to uh, fire me two times that day. You know? Right. It wants to be God, but like I said, I got my secrets. You know? Right. But like, I want them and the president of the United States and the UN, the people, the world power to grant me access in that, you know. We're waiting on one more. They talked to that guy, Kim Jo Cho Po, whatever, that general pastor guy, and that guy got a grudge on me, you know. Right. It, the dude got a freaking problem, man. Right. Right. You know, for us, you know, the killers are still out there, man. Right. That girl, Kel, is it really suspicious? Suspicious, you know. Right. That girl, Kel, Johnny Ratana, you know, that Johnny Pleasure guy in your song. I seen that guy on some home screwing with her many times, man. Right. You know. But once again, I'm Jerry Gavin Cum. I'm running out of time here. Uh, I'll make a part two of this video. This is uh, the yearly gathering for the holidays. Looks like they were supposed to have it, but then they, I was going to try to do something, so they went and countered it. Yeah, I'm, I'm Jerry Gallon Come, come from Leading Technology Composites, Wichita, Kansas. Um, remember, the Passover bread and wine is now called Exile. Be served in any way. Saturday or Sunday, you will be charged with murder. I, I'm banning it completely. Right. And uh, it's all the seven last plagues put together in the book of Revelation. You know, right. I'm not going to improve it. Enjoy your exile. I'm Jerry Gavin Come. Bye.